Hey, welcome back to another one of Bunny's Bags. Um, I have to say that I searched and searched for this bag and I could not find it. I went to several Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you name it. I went and I looked and I just could not find this bag. But I went on Mercari and I found it and usually I don't like to buy too much stuff from Mercari because they upsell it for a crazy price. But, um... I found this and it was like $49. I believe if you were to buy this brand new at my Marshalls in the area I live in, it would be like $34.99. So it's not too terrible and I decided to buy it. She was listed as new with tags. However, when I got her, I do not believe she was new. She was definitely used for at least a week or so. And then I think what happened was the owner decided to, um, to sell her. Maybe it wasn't their cup of tea or something, but... Because she smelled like somebody's perfume. So she did still have the tag on it. But somebody either had put perfume inside her. Or maybe they used her for a couple of days. And decided it wasn't for them. I don't know. But um, I aired her out. I put my own like body spray in there. Like I usually carry body spray on me. So. Um, <clears throat> and she's gorgeous. I love her. I wanted this bag because, you know, in the winter months when I go to work, sometimes I do have to walk to my job. Um, and I wanted something that I could just carry everything, including throw some gloves on top or whatever I needed and not feel like I was overly encumbered. This bag is huge, but it's not like as big as I have. Um, it gives me a little bit of the Marc Jacobs furry tote vibes. I always wanted one of those, but I didn't want to, I already own like three Marc Jacobs tote bags and I didn't want to spend the extra money. So this was again, reasonable and luxurious looking and it's about this, a little bigger than a small Marc Jacobs bag, but not quite as big as a medium one, which is perfect for what I needed. And, um, she came with this very beautiful little black leather heart. And the detailing right here, I think, is gorgeous as well. I added to her this acrylic chain, which I got from Amazon. And my pocket back from Bath & Body Works. And I have inside this pocket back one of the Japanese cherry blossoms. The lid pops open so you can not worry about having to get hand sanitizer all over your bag. Then on this side, I have a L charm that's rhinestone and my acrylic, my acrylic, <laughs> my 90s acrylic, um, what I like to call pretty kitty. I don't know if that's really the name of it, but I always call it that. Anyway, so that's my beautiful work bag now. And I will be carrying her all winter. Tomorrow will be her first actual day out so we can check it out she has this gorgeous zip on the top which I think is really pretty and the bottom of her was a little bit misshapen I don't know if that was the fault of the male or somebody having used her for a little bit so I added this purple bag organizer now somebody in a different video had asked me what size bag organizer do I use? And I think when I ordered this, this bag organizer, this particular one is a few years old. I have the same one in red, but this is the fuchsia one. I bought it to go into, when I did it, I didn't search for a particular size. I typed in organizer for small, uh, Mark Jacobs the toad right and I did it on Amazon and it actually suggested ones to me and that's where I got this one from but it's perfect for this bag as well it lets it keep its shape and it fills it with pockets so that I can keep things very organized and um, I'll pull that out so you can see it in more detail afterwards but on the side what I did was I added my coffee cup and my wallet to help hold my coffee cup secure so that it won't spill. Yes, my coffee cup actually has coffee in it. But the reason I carry it like that, like if I was to go to work, I will make iced coffee. And then what I do 
is I also carry like a little pod with protein powder and I will mix it and then what happens is it makes for me a protein coffee because where I work I work um, as a massage therapist and I don't get regular like it's not like a nine-to-five job where you just get regular breaks and you eat so I usually carry some protein powder and a protein bar um, this Hello Kitty cup I got is a gift for my husband. I want to say it was either Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, part of um, the gift that he got me. But I honestly can't remember which. So. And then we have my long Dragon Ball. Because you guys know I'm a nerd. I love Dragon Ball. I don't care. My lounge fly wallet that I just really love this wallet I do own other wallets but I am not about changing my wallet all the time this is organized in a way that really works for me so I keep using it everything else is in the actual organizer so let's we'll start with the chain leash the chain leash I added to my furry little Rila Kula. I'm probably saying it wrong. This little bear. It's a Kaiwai bear. And um, she has a zip pocket. The zip pocket is where I'm going to be keeping my um, earbuds, my earbud case. But right now they're charging because I work tomorrow, so I want to make sure they're fully charged. I've been using them a lot this week. So, that was on this little key leash. I took the key leash and I just attached it to the zipper pull. Okay, so now that I pulled out the coffee and the wallet, I figured it was a lot easier to show you guys the inside by propping the bag like so. So, in this back pocket of the organizer we have my Hello Kitty compact it's, um, just a mirror it's not a makeup one my um, <laughs> my date book from the Dollar Tree which is butterflies that way if I have something important I need to jot down I can um, oh my goodness this is harder to do than I thought it would be my Hello Kitty bow which I have my car key and my husband's key fob in that in that pouch oh my goodness all right hold on a sec okay trying this from a different angle again let's see if this works um actually you know what I'm gonna do you can easily get because you know normally if you're going in and out of your bag you're not gonna need to hold it constantly open but if you see each of these things are in their own pocket inside this organizer so what I'm gonna do now is just take the organizer out just so I can show you exactly how I packed it up I think that would be the easiest way Okay, so that is much easier in my opinion. So this is the organizer. And that is the pocket that we've already emptied out of it. It has so many pockets, you guys. It's really nice. This, um, this on the top is just my, my asthma inhaler. This front pocket. This is for when you have to walk alone. You can take this lanyard, put it on your neck. I've showed this off in other videos because it's quite easy to just unsnap this piece and have that in your hand in a moment's notice. And because my purse is crossbody, I can do that without needing to. Um, 
be worried about what I'm going to do with my hands for my bag or anything. So I like that. And we have my house keys, my Victoria's Secret strap that I have attached to them. I am struggling today, you guys, with this camera. <laughs> and this keychain is actually for the keys that are my mother's. She gave me that each day is a gift from God. If you want to with this key, key leash, you can actually take it out of the organizer completely, which I think is really nice. Um, in this pocket, I have a pen to go with that date book. Pocket tissues. This um, teddy bear gun that was for uh, Hello Kitty anniversary. I have um, spare cord earbuds that are wired earbuds and my charging block in there. And I need to put my, um, I actually have to charge that too, but my backup battery will also fit in there. So everything will fit in there for my job because those are the, I don't need to carry a laptop or a tablet. In fact, I don't, but my phone is everything when I'm at work. If my son has an emergency, if my husband needs to reach me, if my mother needs to reach me and you know, the earbuds are essential cause I'll know if I get, I don't keep the phone in the room with me, but I'll know if I get a notification cause the earbud will ding, right? So then we have, um, body spray because nobody wants to be smelly. And we have, um, uh, my medical pouch, which you guys have seen a thousand times and Yes, I should buy a new one or find a different way to organize it, but you guys, this works so well. And I don't mean to keep doing the same accessory in every video, but when something works really well, I have a hard time changing it. So we got the new skin, the eye drops, and the ibuprofen. Same old stuff. Cute little pouch. Five below. I highly recommend these. They may not have this exact pattern, you guys. But they always have these little square pouches, and they're so convenient. Um, this cute bag that I bought from Amazon quite some time ago. It's got the Sakura flowers from the cherry trees. And it's got the little dangle thing. Or cherry blossoms, I think, right? My Japanese friend would be cringing at me right now. Shout out to Yumi. Um, these are like little toothpicks. This is I'm using this as a catch-all. It's pretty much just a makeup pouch, but it's great as a catch-all. So I got the little placard, uh, little toothpick things that I got from Dollar Tree. When this is empty, I love this little box because I'm gonna put a tea bag in it. So when I'm at work. I will have the cup and when I'm done with the coffee, I can just easily get hot water from the machine and make like tea for myself, which will be awesome. And I got some furry hair ties. These were from the Dollar Tree, I think a year ago. I have a green and a soft pink one, which I think are great for, you know, you get to work, you got to put your hair up because you want to look professional. And that's my hand cream. Can you tell what my favorite scent is? If you've watched all my videos, you know, because I cannot say enough good things about this. I hope they never retire this scent. Couple of thinner purple, like mini scrunchy hair ties. In case you don't want to use a furry one. And then I have a grapefruit uh, Burt's Bee, pink grapefruit. 
the Peony uh, Tinted Lip Balm from Burt's Bee. My um, Glittery Pink Lip Gloss. And a... This is one of those black eyeliner pens, and I can't remember who this is from. Oh, this is L'Oreal. This is just a drugstore um, eyeliner. And that is all in this cute little catch-all. And then last but not least, in the organizer itself, is my my sequined case where I have my sunglasses and my reading glasses so you guys look at all the pockets like everything was in a pocket just about it's got two like this was the keys were in this pocket the um the spray with the lanyard was in this pocket And this is the company on Amazon that I got it from. But honestly, if you just search like tote bag organizer and you have a specific boxy, like a famous boxy tote in mind, and you type that in, it will show you what to buy. Sometimes the camera is picking this up as red, but it is like a purpley pink. I feel like it's not showing the true color. But all right, you guys, that's what's in my bag. Um, I work tomorrow, so I will be bringing this with me when I go to work tomorrow. She's standing pretty good without the organizer now, but I think I really like her with it. The other nice thing about this bag is the bottom is that, um, kind of leathery material that's not real leather, but you know, um, so that you don't get the fur all matted and gross because, you know. The problem with these types of bags, I feel like, is they can get gross really easy. I have a white bag that's similar to this that's a little smaller that I got from Guess last year. And I've honestly been petrified of using it because I don't want it to get stained, which I'm going to probably do a video on that one too just to show you guys how cute it is. But I might... um if I ever sell any of these bags, I might sell that one because I'm just too afraid to use it. But there you go. All that can be organized nicely in here, along with a full cup of coffee. <laughs> and um, I can just very easily grab and go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, she is just so pretty, you guys. Look at her. Somebody did tell me that these newer juicy bags are not holding up the way they did a few years ago. So I really hope I have good luck with her. Um, but if I get even a couple of years out of it, I feel for the price. She's just an awesome, awesome buy. So there you guys go. Um, thank you again for watching, subscribing, liking. I appreciate you guys all so, so much. I hope you have an amazing weekend. It's Saturday as I'm recording this. Um, yes, I work on Sundays. So, <laughs> you know, when you don't have that typical nine to five weekday job, you got to work when you got to work and you get the jobs. Um, but you guys all have an amazing weekend. And I will be back maybe in a week or so with another video for you guys. Thanks again.